L'économie circulaire est circular un economy is an organization principle, the aim of which is reducing the use of raw materials and energy at all levels in the process, whether it be production or consumption of a product or a service. This organization principle can be cascaded to all levels in society in a company, in the business of a company, for citizens, but also for groups of companies or at territory level. And this is what we're going to talk about now. Circular economy. Is it an old concept? Yes. If we look at the refurbishing of time, which is a perfect example because it aims at reducing the use of raw material, of rubber and tires, by reusing used tires and refurbishing with a new layer of rubber so that they can be reused. So this refurbishing of tires increases the life cycle of a tire by two. So first it's new, it can be refurbished and refurbished again. So it's three life cycles of a tire so they can be new, reused, and reused again. This activity has been in operation in France for more than 50 years, and it predominates the market of trucks, tires, or aircraft tires. A majority of truck tires at the moment are refurbished or can be refurbished because refurbishing is not just about repairing and reusing. It's also about echo design, i.e. a new tire when designed has to be designed for recycling, to make recycling possible. So this is a pioneering activity in circular economy. Uh, beneficial environmental impacts are well calculated. We know that there is an impact of, on resources of minus 70%. You can read the white book on tire refurbishing if you're interested. So this was circular economy in one industry. But let's talk about corporate groups of corporation. That's the case of Organic Valley, a company which was initiated by uh, Jean-Luc Dalozo in benestin lauragais in, in the south of France, 40 kilometers away from Ce Toulouse. This group of corporations called Organic Valley is the first group of companies working in circular economy economy and organic matter. Those companies got together and worked as a cooperative to allow corporations to buy equity from Organic Valley, but also includes Organic Valley in decision-making fora, working with citizens and NGOs. So this is a corporation on borderline between private and public, which, all which of course wants to make money and profit, but they include long-term in their investment options by the inclusion of a large variety of stakeholders. This model of organic value can be understood with the three circles as presented by Organic Valley itself. The first cycle is that of Clairvert. Clairvert is the recycling and methane production company that already existed in this territory. Clairvert is a company which acquired land and offered it to other corporations so that they could profit by what Clairvert was producing and so that they could profit, benefit by what other companies uh, could uh, provide. So that's the second circle, that of Organic Valley, which is in 
located in Belista on Lorake. And the third area is that of the Midi Pyrenees region with the city of Toulouse, which is a major producer of organic waste. If we were to capture two things from this model, the first thing would be the type of organization that was chosen, which is totally new. You have this collective cooperative that integrates uh, public and private interest. Then you have the martial type of externalities, externalities outside the company. What a company is looking for when they set up business in Organic Valley, beyond a development model that would uh, match certain of their values and the taking into account of their values, what they're looking for are synergies to increase their profitability thanks to surrounding companies. So profitability is increased outside the company. Let's take a look at a second example, that of the Morland project for the Novaxia group when they took part in the competition to reorganize Paris. So of course, this project won't happen in Morland, but it will happen through other projects by the Novaxia project in Paris and in Ile-de-France in the upcoming years. The Morland project is the ideal prototype of uh, real, of circular economy in real estate. The first thing which is said is that improving energy performance is not sufficient. We need and reinvent the way we design a building and we operate a building. This project was aiming at getting these interactions during the operation of the building. There was a vertical farm that was located on the wings of the building, which could use compost present on the site for the organic production of agricultural food products, which was estimated a very large quantity. The uh, coffee produced by the bar allowed growing mushrooms. Agricultural production was used for the re in the restaurants that were present. Uh, a market square was offered in the basement to sell the products that were cultivated locally. What wasn't sold would have been distributed to a solidarity uh, grocery at low cost through or various NGOs like the Aurore NGO, which was located in this 40,000 square meters building. 40,000 square meters allowed locating various links in the chain of solidarity economy and structure them around organic matter and technical products, like the concept that was developed by the MacArthur Foundation. Agricultural products were the example that we just showed, but there were other activities uh, articulated around technical products. So we talked about the ideal real estate product for circular economy during the operating phase, but this is also envisaged for other projects with other partners, and we are talking about a more circular building activity by uh, taking into consideration higher recycling rates and by encouraging reuse, and not just recycling, but also reuse in the construction phase. Bellastock is an NGO that develops a method to reuse material from the building that's going to be refurbished. So we're talking about an existing building that has that is going to have a new life after it's been refurbished, but instead of having massive recycling of all the waste, an NGO comes 
and deploys a method to test and analyze the reuse potential of the building. For instance, they would analyze the windows, which instead of being sent to incineration or wood recycling, can be reused for another function. This is how we can encourage reuse rather than recycling, and we extend the life cycle of the product and of the raw material, and this, is, this fits with the three R's, so this fits with circular economy. We've seen uh, many examples of circular economy. And very often, when we look at these projects, we talk about jobs, local jobs, or, or jobs which can potentially be relocated. The French National Statistics Agency offers definitions. Uh, those jobs that cannot be relocated are linked to the specificities of a territory, whereas those jobs which can potentially be relocated uh, are, for, are jobs in which people work for a population which is wider than the local population. This definition is certainly useful, but it doesn't help much identifying those jobs that can be relocated or not relocated. But good common sense shows that these projects encourage jobs which cannot be relocated, would it be relevant, for instance, from an economic perspective, would it be relevant to produce compost uh, for Toulouse, 10,000 kilometers away from Toulouse, and then uh, transport it back to Toulouse and use it in Toulouse? The answer is obviously no and is probably linked to the raw material which is present in this territory and that needs to be recycled locally. So we see that these jobs are, most of them, cannot be relocated. Now, what about tire refurbishing? Can it be relocated or not? The answer is no. No, this is profitable for a given, in a given radius, and a tire cannot be refurbished at the other end of the world and then shipped back to be reused. So circular economy is a principle of organization that allows creating local jobs.